and this is the new iPad mini yes the long rumored device does exist and here it is it's a 7.9 inch 1024 by 768 version of the iPad and if that resolution sounds familiar that's because it's the exact same resolution as the iPad 2 in fact many of the internals here are very similar to those of the iPad 2 so apps will run here just as well as they did on that tablet but smaller of course so apps will load quickly, reasonably anyway, but nowhere near as fast as the new fourth generation iPad, which in our testing has proven to be twice as quick even as the third generation iPad, which itself is far, far faster than the iPad 2. But still, we don't think people will be complaining about performance here. Despite this being a slower tablet, it's still reasonably responsive. Apps load quickly, web pages render quickly, and overall responsiveness is still quite good. So only if you do a direct comparison to the iPad 4 are you likely to be left wanting, but those who need the latest and greatest and fastest will want to go with the larger and more expensive iPad 4th generation. The design is of course similar to the larger 10-inch iPad, but actually it's closer to the iPod Touch in terms of overall design. It has a rounded back, very similar to Apple's latest generation iPod Touch, and distinct volume buttons that are again very similar to the new iPod Touch and different from the integrated rocker unit found on the 10-inch iPads. The back on our unit is the black anodized color. There's also a silver and white version. And this is similar to the iPhone 5 in terms of its construction. Now, we don't know what that means for long-term durability, but we will be watching for scratches and such, and we'll be updating as we see them, if indeed we do see them. Overall, we like the design a lot. It fits in the hand reasonably well, but those with smaller hands may have a hard time holding this device one-handed, at least comfortably. The whole idea of a 7-inch tablet, we think, is to be able to walk around in one hand and use the device with the other hand, but if you have small hands, you might struggle a little bit, especially because the side bezels are so small, which doesn't really give you a lot of room to hold this thing, unless, of course, your hand is big enough to palm it like a basketball. A new smart cover was unveiled with the iPad Mini, and it is very similar to what was found before, but it is simpler and, of course, smaller. The aluminum hinge has been replaced by a one-piece unit that clips onto the side using magnets like before, but we found that the magnets here aren't as precise as those on the larger smart cover. You can actually clip this thing on too high or too low so that it doesn't fit properly. But once attached, the connection is reasonably secure, and you can, of course, stand the thing up using the smart cover. But this doesn't quite overlap like the other one does, so it's not quite as secure in holding the iPad vertically. But since it's such a lighter tablet than the 10-inch, we don't think that's any reason to be concerned. Overall, we absolutely love the new iPad Mini. This is a form factor that we think a lot of people are going to love once they get a chance to try it. And the fact that we got over 12 hours of battery life on a single charge means that there's been a lot of efficiencies done inside this very thin very light and very easy to carry around tablet which we are big fans of. We're also big fans of the price. 329 for the 16 gig version with $100 increments to go up to 32 or 64 gigabytes and yes there are cellular versions for AT&T, Sprint and Verizon each costing $130 more than the base Wi-Fi. Now if you're a little unsure about this size we would recommend heading to your local Apple store and trying it out because we definitely think that a lot of people are going to like this smaller lighter and thinner iPad. Even if money is no objective we would probably choose the mini iPad over the fourth generation simply because it is so much more portable. We think a lot of you will as well. 